I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand a strategy to prove trigonometric identities where powers of trigonometric ratios are involved. The question here is prove sine to the power of 4x minus cos x to the power of 4 equals to 1 minus 2 cos square x. That's the identity for you. As soon as you see these powers, you are reminded of what? Well, a few formulas to keep in mind are difference of squares, a squared minus b squared. This could be factored as a plus b times a minus b. And also, uh, the basic fundamental Pythagorean identity for trigonometry, which is sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1. Here you see only the terms in cos, that means you could also write sine square x as equal to 1 minus cos square x. Now that sets the base for proving such an identity, right? So you can actually pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now in this case, we'll start from the left side that seems to be simpler to simplify, more complicated to simplify, right? So we'll begin with the left side, which indeed is sine to the power of 4x minus cos to the power of 4x. Now this could be written as sine square x whole square, right? That is power of 4 minus cos square x whole square. Now we can apply the difference of squares formula to factor. So what we get here is sine square x plus cos square x times, that is the sum, times the difference, sine square x minus cos square x, correct? Now this sum, sine square x plus cos square x, you know, is 1. So this is 1 for us. We could write this as 1 time sine square x minus cos square x. That leaves us with sine square x minus cos square x. We are looking for 1 minus 2 sine square x. So let's write down sine square x as 1 minus cos square x. So we'll substitute 1 minus cos square x for sine square x and then combine the like terms to get the right side, which is 2. 1 minus 2 cos square x, right? So that is your right side. So that is how you could actually solve this particular identity starting from the left side. I hope the steps are clear, right? So uh, you can actually also try solving this identity from the right side, right? You could do it. Uh, it will be slightly more complicated, replacing 1 by sine square x plus cos square x and then going backwards kind of, right? So it gives you an idea. But you'll realize that going in this direction is far better. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. We'll take a few more examples with such powers, especially with tan and secant, just to give you some more practice. Feel free to post questions and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.